Take it off. Right the way off. And take your Lionels with you. So what are they? Well, they're both new Japanese sports cars and they both cost around £35,000. This is the Mitsubishi 3000 GT and this is the new Mazda RX-7. Now the question on the lips of every disco boy in the land is this. Which one is best? If you do buy a car like you buy a suit, you need good looks and on that front, neither is disappointing. The Mazda especially is an organic sensation. With all those curves, it's just plain beautiful. I reckon it looks like an E-type Jag. If this was a suit, it would be of a type worn by John Travolta in 1976, i.e. tight. I know I'm six foot five, but this interior really was designed for absolute midgets. Even though there are no rear seats at all, the front is just microscopic. I've just got hardly any headroom at all. Mind you, the E-type similarities just keep on coming at you. I love these chromed white on black instruments and I love the toys I've got. Air conditioning, power steering, cruise control, there's even an airbag provided as standard. There is, in short, plenty to play with when the car in front of you hasn't moved for an hour and a half. And the Mazda is very hard work. Run over a cat's eye and it breaks your back. But these really are trifling considerations because while both these cars will undoubtedly sell to the trend-setting urban nightclubist, both were actually designed for the open road. Out here, the Mitsubishi size and the RX-7's lumpiness simply don't matter. Both will top 160 miles an hour. Both get from 0 to 60 in five seconds or thereabouts. Both are a thrill a minute. The Mazda achieves this with a back-to-basics approach. Small, ultra-light and ultra-powerful. It's a point-and-squirt car, this. Simple, straightforward and great fun. The engine, however, is quite a complicated affair. That is a Wankel rotary unit. Now it has two turbochargers. The first is tiny and works up to 4,000 RPM, when the second, a much bigger one, cuts in, it must be said, with something of a jerk. Then this thing really starts to fly. If you're a keen driver, you live in Northumberland where the roads are empty and you've just found £35,000 in an old suit pocket, this car is a cracker.